This is the moment a group of disgruntled villagers met an official they say is at the source of their problems for the first time. The resulting argument saw a number of people vent their anger. The cause of the dispute is this cemetery. Its recent and rapid expansion has seen it move closer and closer to the village of Sorokini Khutura, and the people who live there say it's now too close for comfort. They bury people anywhere they want, even in the gully and in the sanitary protection zone. According to requirements, the cemetery has to be at least 300 meters away from the village, but it is already only 200 meters away. A point borne out by a local environmental activist. There have been many violations, ecological, sanitary, of land legislation and the forestry's code. And there are concerns for the water supply too. This well pumps water from an underground canal and is the village's main source of water. But as you can see, it's just a short distance from the cemetery and public health officials say the graves and the water supply are too close, meaning the water may no longer be safe enough to drink. But local authorities say the construction of the village was never authorized, so no one can claim inhabitants' rights are being violated. The village as a geographical area, or as a place of living, is not shown on any map of Samara, and there are no decrees about the village's creation. The villagers say this is untrue and point to their family's official registration documents, some of which go as far back as the 1940s. The villagers now plan to take their dispute to court, but the legal process in Russia can be a long one. In the meantime, they're pushing for a fence to be built to contain the cemetery and formally separate the land of the dead from the land of the living. Emma Jenkinson, RT, Samara Region.